think it's fair to say that humans are extremely flexible and adaptable in where they get their nutrients from, and that makes it really tempting to call us omnivores. But I try to reserve that word for a species that really has the the physiology to depend much more on um, either way of eating without a big compromise. And I don't think humans have that anymore. We've lost most of our ability to eat a high fiber diet. We don't have the big guts that we used to have. And we're, we're really quite reliant on some source of animal foods to develop properly. With that knowledge, with the knowledge that an animal like for example, a deer can be found eating off of a carcass sometimes to get certain nutrients, and we don't want to call a deer an omnivore. And, and likewise, a cat can be fed on kibble and live out an, a fairly normal life, and we don't want to call a cat uh, an omnivore because the cat is like the standard, most carnivorous kind of animal that we know. So I wanted to separate it from behavior and, 